Hey guys, what's up? D Live here, and I am here with both January and February's loot crates. Two loot crates, boxes in one video. It's crazy, I know, but I missed the last one because of being away. And I wanted to make sure I got this one done for this month. If you guys would like to try a loot crate, you can click my referral link down below and sign up through there. You get 10% off if you use code DLive. These things are really awesome. I would not recommend something to you guys that I wouldn't try myself. I love these. I've gotten so much cool stuff. There's been pop figures, t-shirts, Mega Man helmets that I really, really, really I love. They're sitting up on my shelf over there. They're so freaking awesome. But we shall get going here. I have no, I've stayed away from anybody's Loot Crate videos and I don't know what's in them. So I'm excited to open up January's. We're gonna do January's first, which I believe was anniversary edition. So let's see what's in here. First off, first off, I see a t-shirt. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost lost a button. Almost lost a button. Let's do the button first. Rewind. Which is January, so you guys can see it. I'm gonna hold it up for a second because I don't know if it's focused. It should be, I'm using a camcorder and I don't wanna flip it and look at myself and have everything reversed in the back. But it's Rewind, January 2015 Loot Crate to prove it. And I see a t-shirt and I just smacked my mic because I am an idiot. Looks like a Transformers sketch, how, uh, sketch shirt, which is actually pretty cool. And it's in Japanese? Or Chinese? I'm not sure. I don't know the language. I apologize to anybody I offend with that. But there it is. I probably am not doing it justice. Here we go. That's the one bad thing without not being able to see this stuff is to actually show you guys this thing. There it goes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. You know what? Really, it's gonna flip. You're gonna, you guys are gonna see it, and you're gonna be like, "What the heck happened?" But I gotta see. I was gonna try not to do it, but I gotta see what I'm showing you guys. Okay, there we go. So the shirt might be reversed. I don't know, but there's the design. Oh, I could put it back here so you can get a better, a better look. There we go. Okay, awesome T-shirt. Again, the boxes that they have a T-shirt in them, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. You're getting a deal. Okay. I see some cool stuff in here. I'm gonna grab something I love, and I know you guys love, No, I love, I wear these on streams and stuff, but look at this. Look at this, I gotta get the sticker off. I wanna look cool. Look at these. 8-bit sunglasses. I don't even, are these sunglasses? These look like, yeah, these look like sunglasses. 8-bit sunglasses, look at that. Look how cool I look. Like, if you saw me, if you saw me on the street, you would come up and be like, you're amazing. That's what I would do if I saw somebody wearing these glasses. And I think these are actually freaking cool. I actually really like these. I love glasses to wear on stream and stuff. I might have to pop out the uh, lenses to be able to see, but these are freaking awesome. I would have to save the lenses because I don't want to lose them. All right, in here I see a retro. This is kind of, oh, what is this? It's called So Analog Retro Inspired Products. What is this? This looks really cool. It looks like uh, an NES game. That is so awesome. What is in here? Oh, it comes with a gun. I've never played this game. Ooh, I just lost some of the pieces. Did I catch it? I have never, I didn't really play the Super, uh, the regular Nintendo. This is a Nintendo. I played Super Nintendo like crazy. This is a game cartridge, so I never played this game. But I did play Duck Hunt, which it reminds me of because it has the gun. I think I can make it have feet, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to try to assemble it. Come on, you can do it, D-Live. You can do it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. If you guys have played this game, let me know down in the comment section. Let it, what is it about? But this is pretty cool. This is, an, this is a Nintendo cartridge. I know that. This is not the Super Nintendo. This is a Nintendo cartridge. I didn't play too many of the Nintendo games. I came in when the Super Nintendo was out. So I didn't play the original N NES. That's pretty cool. What else have we got in here? A tie? I'm not much of a suit kind of guy. But I shall see what's in here. If it's a video game tie, it will make me dress. It is. Oh, it's just awesome. Look at this. It is a video game tie. I'm not gonna. Can I unravel it all? I actually have to tie it. I can't tie ties. 
I usually have somebody do it for me, but it is a video game tie retro themed. It looks like, uh, God, Space Invaders, I want to say. Don't kill me if I got it wrong. I haven't played it in a while. It looks like Space Invaders, but it's a tie. That is freaking sweet, though. It makes me want to dress up to wear it. That is awesome, though. This is this has been an awesome loot crate so far. I've gotten some awesome glasses, a tie, a retro little guy, and a shirt. Like, I already, I'm already, I'm already liking this. What is this comic book? 64 pages of never before seen, seen action and adventure. So it's a pocket notebook. Let me open it up and show you. Let me sh show you first, so you know what I'm talking about. Again, it's reversed. I apologize. It's the only way I can tell that you guys are actually seeing what I'm showing you. I should have a mirror set up. That would be the best thing. Now I think of all the good ideas. So it's like a it's like a thing that you could fill out and do comics on, which is pretty cool. It's just a pocket notebook. And it's kind of it's kind of cool. Look at this. You can actually trace it too. You can make your own comics. So you have a trace and it also has like little bubbles here and stuff and this is pretty cool. So you can actually make your own comic book in here. That is kind of cool. That is awesome. So if you're an artist or you like doing comic books, you can have like a little, as you can see inside, it's got comic bubbles. You could make your own comics. You can do rough drafts inside of them and like little ideas that you have. It's freaking, it's pretty cool. I am a comic book person. I see a comic book in there. So I'm excited. This is the booklet that they send where you can read about it and stuff. This is a, a Super Nintendo controller. Let's see that. Is there anything else in here? Anything interactive in here? Sometimes they have interactive stuff in here. So there's a lot of stuff talking about retro gaming, Super Nintendo. Um, I have a, a, Super Nintendo, a portable Super Nintendo that plays actual games. Um, this is more... This is more um, stuff that uh, the retro gaming figures do, as you can see. This is an, this loot crate was awesome. Look at this. This is a loot crate exclusive Star Wars number one comic book. Is this a a variant edition? So this is a variant edition. If you guys don't know what a variant edition of a comic book is, that means this is another cover of it. They should have it should have the same contents inside, but the cover is different. And when the cover is different, it is worth more money. So, most of the time, sometimes. And I assume that this will be something that pops up on uh, selling sites and comic book shops. And comic book shops probably would want this because they can't get it themselves. So if you took this, say you're not a big Star Wars fan, you're crazy. But maybe you're not a big Star Wars fan and you take it to a comic book shop and you might get something for it. Um, which is awesome. It comes in a, in a case with backing board. So that's pretty awesome. So that was January's Loot Crate. Let me clean up a little bit and move this stuff to the side and let's open up February's Loot Crate. All right, guys, time for February's Loot Crate. Two Loot Crates in one. Oh my God, it's like Christmas, man. It's like, it's like Christmas when you get one, but now it's like Christmas times two. Christmas and a birthday. All right, I'm, I opened the other one so quick. I don't use scissors. I don't use anything to open packages. I find it a challenge. I like it. It's like a challenge. Can I open it without using sharp objects? And if I can, it's a victory. And this time I win. Ooh, there's some cool stuff. This Loot Crate's theme is called Play. So there's gonna be some cool stuff. I already see a couple things in here that I like. But we're gonna go first with mini, mini money. Design, admire, and inspire. This is like a pop figure, but you can draw using pens, pencils, and crayons on money. Make things to put in money's hands, make hats to put on money's head. Or you can just leave money alone and keep money next to you for company forever. So it's like a pop figure that you can make on your own which is pretty freaking sweet. So you can actually make stuff to put on them. This is a hex bug zombie. It glows in the dark and I believe it has a button on it that makes it move. And that is pretty cool looking. They made one, I think there was one like this. I don't know if it's made by the same company that was in another loot crate. It was a Transformers one and it was a little tiny and I had that on my desk forever and I would let it, 
um, crawl on top of my desk and mesmerize my cat. And this is actually pretty cool. It glows in the dark and you can make it move. I This is probably gonna be a cat toy. <laughs> Most often not. My cat likes to go after these things and I it was fun to play around with, but this is really cool. It's a zombie hex bug. So that's pretty cool. I got a little pouch thing. Last time I had something in a little pouch, it was Assassin's Creed. Looks like, what are these for? What are these? They're like little dice. Is this, does this go with the super fight? Or is this something I'm just not seeing? There's dice and they're cool. Um, wh what they are, I'll get these nice and close for you. As you can see, it's like a full hand, five. But then this one says two. So instead of it having um, six, five, four, three, two, one, the actual like dots for the numbers, it's hand. So this is actually pretty cool. And speaking of Super Fight, there is a Loot Crate exclusive deck. So th this you can add in. This is a 100 card version of the viral card game. So this is its own game. This is not just an ad, ad deck. This is its own card game. Desi it's, it's designed for Super Fight. So you can add these in most off probably you can add this in if you already have super fight and if you don't know what super fight is i've actually played it on the channel um the tabletop version of it and it's an awesome little game where you pin uh superhero uh, you make your own superheroes kind of like it's like a character that you get powers so you could get barack obama with the power of flying or something like that it's a awesome game if you wanted to have a game that's similar to it cards against humanity it's a uh, it's kind of it's very similar but it's its own thing and it, it's a an awesome card party game i've played it with people and it's been fun played it with two different groups of people and we both enjoyed it both groups enjoyed it but it's an awesome game i do recommend it it's a pretty cool game i've played it all right this is a huge book, and this is called Ready Player One, and this is by, who is this by? Ernest Klein. What is this book about? Enchanting, Willy Wonka meets the, meets the Matrix. So it's a New York Times bestseller, so you know it's good, and it, it's an actual story. Um, I kind of, and okay, here's a brief synopsis of the book. In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past. And that promised massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take this ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. So this is pretty interesting. And it's a New York Times bestseller, and it's in Loot Crate. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to I'll have to start reading it. I'm not a big reader, but it sounds pretty interesting. So it's like a, a virtual reality meets real world where they're trying to unlock for prizes and big money. All right, so this is February's pin. This is the uh, theme play. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, here we go, crate packing. Game instructions. Welcome to Loot Crate's first original board game. The goal is simple, be the first player to have all five items in your crate. It's a little board game, I should show that. It's a little board game that they include in it. So that's what the dice are for. The dice are for that. So I thought so. What is this? Is this a poster? This is a poster, and I'm going to have to open it. I'm going to have to open it. People are like, oh, it's a poster. You guys can't see. No, you guys can see. You're welcome to see. This is pretty cool. Look at this. Game program. Look at this. A little Pac-Man poster. A little Pac-Man poster. Look at that. It's like the chips inside. This is Firefly Online, Callahan Full Bore, Full Bore Auto Lock Assault Rifle. Get ready to experience Firefly Online. So this allows you to sign up. You download the Cortex, the official companion app. Register for an account, log in, use the name, and redeem, and you get this weapon. 
So that's pretty cool. It gives you deals, like and stuff in Loot Crate. Also, there's they stick in little deals for you. Um, I'll show it to you guys so you guys can see it. If you guys play Firefly, I know a lot of people do. I don't. I'm going to get yelled at for not playing it. And this is the Loot Crate box. And I do see the uh, stuff that you need for the game. So these are the game pieces. I'll show you the game board that's inside. These are the game pieces. These are your little people that walk around the board. And then this is just showing that, um, the Waka Waka poster, which is the Pac-Man poster I showed you. And there's other cool stuff in here. And this is something that they also do. They do mega loot crates. And that's what's in the mega one. There's, I think, believe there's just one. I'm pretty sure there's just one. Don't yell at me. I'm gonna go with the lower, the lower amount because then I won't get yelled at if I'm wrong. It's more like joy if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's another book. It's play. That's the theme. Um, I'm not gonna destroy the box yet, but this is the board game that's inside. And getting all five of them, you win. So this is a pretty awesome loot crate. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks if you sat through this whole thing watching too. Let me know if you guys like seeing these. Uh, leave a like if you do, if you want to keep seeing them on the channel. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.